I hope, I hope this, you, this you accept statistics that from Kenya National if Bureau. you look, in if fact, you, if you, if you go, and, and yeah. I have it here. You can open. Yeah. Yeah. Alena, online, can you, can you verify at, that you, you go online, go online. 200 kilowatts from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics has gone down 4.4% or not? So perhaps that's the reason why you I know, asked. These are the, not lies. The, yeah? the, if, if you are online, mm -hmm. go to the KNBS website mm -hmm. and look at the there you go. That is what I consumer price index Movement oh. for the month of Brother, July. Alela, this is they, a hustler, a hustler uh, government, and it's for a hustler nation. Right. What about the Turkey's Unguningi? Mimi, I'm just saying, Unga Pali to Litoa, Naunga Paliko. Gloria, Ime practically shuka. speaking, without without so looking, you, Gloria, without can, looking at what it is that Kebs, <laughs> without looking at what it well, is that Kebs the, says. This yeah? is, a, this is, this is what not a question of, of uh, Kizungumingi. In Kizungo. What, you see, yeah. as a nation, and I hope our colleagues in government accept, mm. we must be professional in what we are doing, right. and we must actually speak the truth. The Kenya National Bureau of Statistics is a body, part of Treasury, mm. that keeps track of mm. what is happening to inflation. Yes. If you look at July inflation, which I think the Senator is trying to explain a little bit, mm. at 7.3%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the previous month, uh, inflation- uh, First of August. Okay. Yes, that, this, this, yeah, yeah. Which is just a week yes, ago, right? Week that's why it is for July. Mm -hmm. At the end of every month, mm -hmm. in the last mm -hmm. week of the month, mm -hmm. the Bureau does this thing. Now, the reality you will find mm -hmm. is that all foodstuffs, their prices are actually nearly 11% higher than they were in the previous regime. 12 months ago, no, forget no, the regime, no, no, no. 12 months, 12 months ago, Alela, Alela. if, no. if the, the uh, spinach prices no, have come down no, no, and a few foods have come down because of... Because may I yeah, practically speaking, yeah. without looking no. at... You know, you, you have spoken without me interrupting you. No, you actually like Kenyans, interrupted me. I would no, no, like Kenyans allow, who are listening to us, respond, what I would like Kenyans the who, the are watching, you you yes, who are watching and listening to us to look at the official source of data, which is the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, and what you will find is that in fact electricity and Kenyans you know don't have to believe the senator or myself Kenyans will believe what they are paying to Kenya power and everybody will tell you last year they could buy 62 units this year they are getting 29 units for the same price and this is a uh, what the senator is doing is characteristic is the behavior of this government and I'll just give you two examples. One gentleman there in Nyeri has said, oh, government is completing projects. Well, actually it isn't. If you look at the road from uh, Nairobi to Mao Summit, what this government did, this regime, when they got into power, the first thing they did was to cancel it. And now they're trying to redo it so that uh, in, uh, it's a good, uh, Lantano is uh, Lantano the speaker. Is, yeah, and and uh, it's it, the previous it, regime that failed. Yes. And what they did when they came to uh, office mm -hmm. in Laikipia, mm -hmm. 10 smart towns that, whose stomach was going on, they cancelled those contracts. Right. Laikipia was the first county to do leasing in Kenya, okay. to arrange leasing, uh, large-scale leasing of equipment. They cancelled it. Are you saying they're choking devolution in this case because Laikipia well, is just one uh, We're not one talking one. about the national government cancelling in Laikipia. Yeah. I am talking about Laikipia government mm -hmm. cancelling the things that were going on is that there. Likely to the be same behaviour yeah. that you are seeing with the national government. And, and I should say here um, that we one would hope the speakers both at the Senate, at the National Assembly and at county level mm -hmm stay as neutral arbiters. So they're not necessarily, they're not quite expected to be commenting broadly uh, in, in, in taking sides in the political discourse because they are expected to be neutral referees in all these houses of debate. Now, uh, our colleague has, uh, Wambogo has in, in one other uh, comment about a successful transition. Mm -hmm. Well, look, it's not the first time we're having successful transition, but it's a good thing we had a successful transition. Right. It's not the first time that opposition is winning or that somebody who perhaps did not enjoy backing of certain quarters is winning. Mm -hmm. Going back to President Moy, uh, going back to Kibaki, going back to, say, Uhuru, when he was being backed in, a, in his first attempt by the regime and did not win. But it's a good thing Kenya uh, went through a successful transition. transition. Now, are we, uh, are they, is this regime struggling to sort out the debts of the previous regime? And again, it is useful for us to be factual and to be honest, 
Because as leaders, I think we have a responsibility to speak honestly. In the nine, 12 months that this regime has been in office, they have borrowed in excess of 700 billion. Mm -hmm. Now, don't, you don't have to believe me. Go to Central Bank and look at the data. And those about, we can project. And you, and yeah. you can project. Mm. 700 billion in new borrowing. Now, that is not dealing with the old problem. And I must tell you, because this regime has also been increasing interest rates, and I know that Kenyans, wherever you are, if you have borrowed, I bet you in the last one month, your bank has written to you to say that the cost of that money is going up. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the behavior of government. Now, government has increased interest rates, so it is borrowing at higher and higher cost. And even where it is rolling over debt, which I think is what the speaker was talking about, where government borrows today to pay old debt, they are borrowing this new debt at even higher cost to pay debt from previous years that was cheaper. Why don't you then want them to tax some more so that which, they are able to pay this? Well, look, look, you must answer the question, what are you spending the taxes and the borrowing on? For, not on. When Kenya was successful in the last 20 years, you would have to say is the first years of Kibaki. Mm. And why was government successful? And all our national leaders today served in that government with Kibaki. They were successful because they were balancing the budget. We were living within our means. We were not taxing people and businesses uh, to, you know, to loss making. Now what any government, this one in power, in any government that wants to solve the cost of living must do is to live within our means. Bring down the, uh, the budget overall. And now, are there opportunities to bring down the budget? Of course okay. there are. Like what? Take health. Health is a devolved function. Why is the Ministry of Health getting nearly double the budget? Here in Nairobi, what are they actually doing with that money? Mm -hmm. Health is a devolved function. That money should be going to county. Uh, if it must be spent on health, then it should be going to counties. Mm -hmm. And you will see that repeated in water, you will see that repeated in agriculture. You can save upwards of 300 billion, 400 billion, by re avoiding duplication. That is what any government, <coughs> we're not just talking about the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Any government that wants to solve the cost of living problem must, unless you invent your own uh, universe of economics, you must do certain things correctly. Is that an acknowledgement that...